Hi guys, I'm Phil Town for rule number one. We're talking about six market crushing principles. We have an acronym that we use that we're going down here. First one is R for radar. Second is U for understand. Third is L for love. And the fourth one is E for event. Now, you gotta understand something pretty cool here. We're saying that you can buy stocks that are on sale. I want you to think about that for a minute because most people who are investing in the stock market think that the market is always priced exactly according to the value of the businesses and nothing's ever on sale. But Warren Buffett says absolutely the right way to make money in the stock market is to wait until there's fear, buy on fear, sell on greed. Perfectly good idea. But why in the world, if these guys are such great investors out there running these big funds, would they ever get fearful? They're very rational. They're going to do the right thing. They're never going to sell $10 of value for $5. So why would they get fearful and why would they put a business on sale? This is hugely important. The reason that they would is because far from being a really rational place where everyone just does very rational things all the time, the market is a cauldron of emotion out there. I mean, you can imagine how fearful you could be if you had spent the last 15 years of your life climbing the ladder at Goldman Sachs until you got to run your own fund. And now, if you have two bad years, you're fired. And you can just go start over someplace, you know, away from New York City. So your kind of whole life is on the line. And if these stocks are not doing what you expect them to do, it can be very scary. And when people get afraid, they do irrational things. Here's a couple of examples. When the Macondo well blew up in the Gulf of Mexico, BP, Halliburton, Transocean were all the companies involved in it. But every other company that had something to do with the Gulf of Mexico oil drilling went on sale big time. They all went down like a brick. Even those other, other companies had nothing to do with the Macondo well. Here's another one. The Arab Spring happened and cotton prices, just out of fear that cotton would become scarce because Egypt grows a lot of cotton, Cotton prices went from 85 cents a pound to $2.25. Just this explosion in cotton prices. And companies that make t-shirts looked like they were going to have a terrible year. And that company, one company called Gildan, went down from $45 a share to $15 just because cotton prices went up so much. But cotton prices weren't going to stay up. I mean, if cotton prices stayed at two and a quarter, my friends who grow cotton in Georgia would plant from the Florida line to the North Carolina line. They would plant the entire state in cotton and prices would come back down and the t-shirt company would make money again. Nonetheless, it went massively on sale. Fukushima happened in Japan. This horrible tragedy of a tidal wave hitting Japan created a lot of fear in the nuclear power industry. Japan shut down its nukes. Germany shut down its nukes. And you know what happened? One of the greatest companies in the country up in Canada went massively on sale because it provides uranium for those nuclear power companies. So you can look for what we call an event. That is the, the uh, event that occurs that drives a company's price down for the short run. Now there are events out there that can become long-term problems, but we wanna be able to distinguish between those which are just short-term, they're not gonna last very long, and long-term events. Here's another example. Chipotle Mexican Grill went on sale in 2009. Burritos. Why? Because all stocks went on sale in 2009 when the whole market melted down. So if all you do is just wait for natural fluctuations of the market, where it goes from being way too greedy to way too fearful that occur over and over and over again, that's all you have to do. And you can pick up these wonderful companies that got on your radar, that you understand, that you connect to your values, and now they've gone on sale because of something that has nothing to do with them whatsoever. Those are awesome. So the next video, we're going to talk about how to, once you've got a company, reduce your risk and get your money off the table.